Um, I have been fishing for as long as I can remember for the most part. Um, I started, I am 27 years old. My name is Casey Allen um, from Jamestown. Um, fishing has been um, pretty much um, main staple in my life for as long as I can remember. Um, my family has always been really involved in fishing. Um, thinking back, I think I was five years old when uh, I remember fishing with my grandpa and my dad at uh, Dungeness Bay and uh, I remember the first time when I can remember doing it I was I just fell in love with it and uh, it's something that I've just I don't know had a passion for ever since um, I do it every year we do the Dungeness Bay fishery and um, it's something that um, I really hold dear in my heart because I have had so many memories with my my dad and my grandpa and uh, you know now I fish there on my own and uh, it just yeah it's it's a very um, spiritual um, experience to me because something that I um, I don't know like it's it's something not only it's not just a job to me it's um, I do it for free if I could just the just being outside the smell of the salt water you know being being outside you know experiencing it is uh, is exhilarating to me I can't really uh, put it in words for the most part it's just something you have to experience um, I've hunted for a long time. Um, I exercise those rights all the time um, when the season's open for deer and elk. And, um, but yeah, shellfish gathering just right out here. My dad and I go out and dig clams and pick oysters and you know, it's something that, yeah, we've done for again, like forever. And just the thought of losing that would, uh, something hard to swallow just from in my lifetime 27 years like from what I've seen from what I remember of being a little five-year-old kid the way it was you know helping my grandpa and my dad pack fish off the boat off the, on the beach and the way it is now I mean it's it's changed dramatically even in that short amount of time so I just pray that yeah there is more fish another 27 plus years from now if my rights were taken away, it's hard to think about. Um, it would it would hurt so much in so many ways. Not just my you know financially, but also just it's what I do for fun, you know, for you know for food. Um, in so many aspects, it would you know I would lose my a sense of identity for the most part. I would kind of be lost without uh, treaty rights, I feel. Um, I have just relied on treaty rights. This is kind of all I've known for the most part, how I was raised, and if that was taken away, I I believe I would, I'd have to find some other sort of outlet and it would, I'd be, I'd be lost.